What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid and Modern X. Today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest method to upgrade your Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9 to the Android Developer Preview of Android M. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Wokefresh Nexus Root Toolkit, and this is going to simplify everything and make everything really easily. Of course, you could just head to the link in the description and grab the Developer Preview. Uh, you could unzip that and flash the files one by one by one, and that would be easy enough. Uh, but the Wokefresh Toolkit method just makes it that much easier, so that's what we're going to do today. So what you want to do is head to the link in the description and grab the file uh, for your device. So I have the Nexus 6, I'll grab that. Once you have that file downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open up the Nexus Wokefresh uh, Nexus Root Toolkit. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Now I'll include a link in the description of where you can find that toolkit. Okay, on your phone while that loads, you're going to need to go into settings about phone build number click on that seven times until the developer options are available go ahead and open up developer options and select usb debugging now your phone's going to need to be bootloader unlocked in order for this to work i'll be sure to include a link in the description of my tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader it's pretty simple pretty easy from there we're just going to go ahead and plug our phone in and set it to the side Okay, so what you want to do here is go to your model type and make sure that you change the model and then choose the correct version. Of course, you could go to auto detect here, uh, but then you'll apply that. Okay, the very next thing that you want to do is uh, flash stock and unroot, and you'll choose devices on as normal. It tells you once again that you need to be unlocked first, so then we'll just select OK. We'll select other here. And then we'll select, I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use. And make sure that you check force flash mode and post flash factory reset there. Then select OK. Okay, then you'll choose your build that you downloaded yourself. So here we have the Shamu preview build. We'll go ahead and select that. And then select open. Okay, give it a few minutes. It's analyzing the factory image just to make sure that it is compatible and that it will flash. Okay, so once it's finished analyzing, it's going to ask for the MD5 hash, so we're going to skip that because I don't actually have that. Then we'll select OK. Just make sure that it was 100% downloaded before you skip this. Now it's extracting the factory image. So the cool thing about this is that it really does everything on its own. You're not going to have to extract it yourself and then flash the package one by one. This script will actually do the entire thing for you. It just makes it really super easy and simple. Okay, so once it finishes, it'll begin to... I actually flash the image so you guys can see it's finding the ADB device and rebooting into bootloader and then it's going to actually flash the image. So this takes several minutes. This actually probably will take you 15 to 20 minutes to do the entire process. But then once again, the cool thing is that it does it all for you. It booted us into fast boot automatically. Okay, it says flashing stock will restore your device to factory state. Make sure you back up all important data. We'll go ahead and select OK. And then it's going to begin the flash. So you guys can see over here on the left side, it shows you everything that it's doing as it does it. Just give it plenty of time because it could take up to 15 minutes to flash the entire image. Okay, so when it's all finished, as you now see an Android on its back with an exclamation point, this is the pre-screen to stock Android recovery. It requires a button combination to bring up the menu. While holding down power, press volume up. So, power, volume up. Okay, and then we'll scroll down to wipe data factor reset and select power. Go down to yes and select power again. That's going to wipe our data. Okay, so in the bottom there, you can see that it says formatting data. Then it'll say cache, and then we'll reboot the system. Okay, so when you get to this screen, uh, you'll just press the power button to reboot now. That's going to reboot you into Android M. So on the computer screen, we'll just go ahead and press any key to continue, then press any key to exit. So now we're all done with the Wokefresh toolkit. Okay, so when it all boots up, you're going to have this warning here. It's telling you that you're running a preview version. And then you'll just go ahead and set up your device. I'm going to pause while I set mine up real quick. Okay, so when you're all set up, you'll see the welcome screen here. We'll go into our settings. And we'll go down to about phone. You guys can see that we are running Android version M. So if we click that, that'll open up our Easter egg. And I thought this was kind of humorous here, but if we press and hold, 
you'll get the actual Easter egg there. Somebody said it looked like an m M&M. I guess it kind of does. Anyways, guys, that is the quickest and easiest way to install the Android developer preview version of Android M on the Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or Nexus 9. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.